Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about large packages versus small packages and to what to do rather buy to not waste anything. So why I'm talking about this is it's just part of our everyday life and our everyday decisions to buy either the larger pack or the smaller pack. And usually I would go like um, comparing the prices for like a certain amount of products. So for example if I want to buy carrots and then I look at the price per kilogram and then I see well there's a one kilogram pack for 119 and there's the 800 grams of carrots for I don't know 135 and so that would be cheaper than the other one but when it comes to really how much do you really need then you would have to rethink it and you probably don't need the one kilogram but rather the 800 gram because otherwise the carrots will get bad and you have to throw them away so one example I want to give you is that two weeks ago I bought two kilograms of carrots because they were on sale they were non-organic and they cost only 89 cents. It was like, whoa, so cheap, and uh, I just bought them. Didn't really think much when I thought, okay, I need to have, I need to eat a lot of carrots in the next two weeks, um, and I bought them. So fast forward two weeks later, I needed to throw away like half of it because I was gone one and a half weeks and I didn't eat the carrots. And so I wasted like one kilograms of carrots and yeah, well, I would have gone better with the one kilograms of carrots and I could buy the organic one which was not very much more expensive than the non-organic one and um, this just got me thinking again and also have one more example, two more examples actually, like those cotton pets here. Um, when I was in London for three months, I bought cotton pets and um, I also have this older mindset to buy as cheap as possible. The larger packages were of course cheaper, like per 100 pieces, they always do that. And so I bought like 300 uh, or like 150 of those and I also ended up having too many before the three months was gone and uh, I needed to give them away or I don't know just take them with me which is just more luggage to carry on and um, yeah that was just a nonsense buy and so what I did now is I bought this uh, 70 cotton pads for, yeah, I don't know how much, but um, I just bought them like eight months ago and I still have some. I don't use them every day because I don't wear makeup every day and I don't have to clean stuff with that every day. I just know it now and I don't need so many so I don't need to buy a lot of it and just a smaller package is fine for me and it might be more expensive if you just can't buy the, I don't know, buy the kilograms or whatever um, but you can buy higher quality and you will use it well and you know that and so I bought the yeah it's just that and also um, yeah fashion to yeah they called in Germany in German and uh, pocket whatever uh, just, yeah you know what I mean and um, I didn't buy those for three and a half years since I live alone because, well, I wasn't really sick and I thought, well, I'm not getting sick and so I don't need to buy that and every time I got sick, which happened maybe just two times in the past three and a half years, um, I used toilet paper or whatever and I was fine with that. So, but now I'm like a bit more sick and um, I needed to buy some of that and I couldn't take toilet paper anymore because it was ruining my face <laughs> for whatever reason. So as I was um, looking for those, I was tempted again to buy the cheapest one 
and um, but those were of course large packages and I know I'm gone in one and a half months, actually in one month I'm gone again and uh, I don't need like 15 packages of that and so I decided to get only 8 ones and only in this pocket, also in that pocket format and there are like 8 in that and that's fine with me and I'm going to get well soon so I don't need so many of course I pay more uh, for the piece as I would if I buy a larger yeah and I don't need so many in that time I'll be here and just in general so I buy less with a bit more money but it's just worth it because I don't have too many and it's not more luggage or more waste so and also um, it's just what this one tip that I want to give you whenever you want to buy something just think how much can you use or eat if it's there, something to eat um, within that certain amount of time you need to consume it and then just buy accordingly so you won't have too much luggage as I said before or just too much waste in the end so also if you buy see those like chips um, crisps and uh, like this whole packet package with 50% more and buy it wow it's so much cheaper and I save so much and then you end up with that and it's just getting all wobbly and you cannot eat it anymore because you cannot eat so much um, then you're going to waste it and it's just a waste of money, a waste of resources and you're yeah, just producing more yeah, mill, what's the English word for that? Waste. Yeah, sometimes I forget uh, English words as well. Um, of course, if you know you use that much of crisp or uh, that much of uh, Taschentücher then you should buy of course many and in bulk and it's going to be cheaper for you or if you have a big family and you need those package of, of uh, tissues and um, then it's good. Also I personally also buy a lot of tea and I know I will drink it very soon because I love tea and I drink tea all the time um, yeah, but with yeah tissues, I think I just remember the name tissues. Um, yeah, I don't need that many, and I don't buy that many. Yes, and also with every other kind of products, like beauty products. How much cream do you need? How much oil do you need? And so on. And um, for example, I don't use any hair products other than a shampoo. Just um, when I went home, I saw a very, very old uh, package of um, a tube of hair styling gel. And it's so old, I know it, it from like years and years and years ago, and it's still there, and we don't use it. And you know, they always say like use it within 12 months or so, and it's been there for years. And that's another example of how you can just buy too much and not use it and probably just that small tin would be enough to have it because we don't use so much hair styling gel and um, also if I would buy hairspray for whatever reason again I would buy the small one because I know I wouldn't use so much and that's fine it's also fine with traveling and stuff and uh, yeah those bulky ones is only for those who use it a lot a lot a lot of times and um, yeah, my hair is fine with that. Um, yeah, that was my tip for today for this video. I hope you liked it. If so, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. I try to upload once a month and uh, maybe more often. Um, yeah, I would just give you an update just after this video if you want to continue watching it and otherwise I'll say bye now and thanks for watching hi I'm here again and I've got some tea 
and I'm just going to talk about what I've been up to the past month and uh, it's been a while since I updated, uploaded my last video it was in uh, December with my MacBook and um, yeah I actually wanted to upload once a month and I missed January uh, it was also because of my thesis which was such a busy time and uh, it was also quite stressful that's why I'm sick now and drinks lots of teas and uh, my voice is a bit changed and that's how it goes so but I'm back I'm getting better and I uh, still pursue the things I want to do I read every day I try to meditate every day and um, just learn the things I want to know about and educate myself and try to get educate try to educate others and still do my coaching, my online coaching. And I'm so excited to get my degree very soon in the next month. And then I'm going to move away from this place here. I just rented it for eight months and um, those furniture is not mine. And um, I will move back home for a while first and then a new path will start and I'll move to a different city. I won't reveal it now, but just stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Musical.ly, whatever, and I will look forward to and to more of what I really want to do, and it's just so exciting, and um, yeah, I'll look forward to that. So thanks for watching, and I will see you then. Bye!